Hardware and software in this video were provided as part of the MetaQuest Creator Program. Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. This is a mixed reality video of a very cool emulator that just came out called Citra. And the Citra emulator emulates the Nintendo 3DS. We're going to be checking out a bit of Super Monkey Ball 3D. Now right now you see a 2D flat screen in front of you with two panels and then some of my uh, peripheral vision here. Uh, what we're going to be playing is in 3D for me on the top screen and in 2D for the bottom screen, similar to what you would see in a real 3DS, but with stereoscopic full 3D on the screen. Uh, so I've got the little ball there and the 3D logo that's popping, bouncing up and down in front of me. We're going to click on Monkey Ball. All right, and the area that I'll start with is Challenge. And this is kind of the main game of Super Monkey Ball 3D. So we're playing on Monkey Island is the first world here. And you can either play using a motion sensor, which would be tilting the controls, uh, which I don't know if that works with your Quest controllers, uh, or with the circle pad, which is just the little pad on top of the left stick. Now this game in particular works great with Citra. Uh, I have played a number of my own titles and at this point, this one is the one that I've played the most of. Uh, it's not saying that the other games don't work, but in a lot of games there's uh, sound emulation glitches and things of that nature, uh, which makes it a little bit harder to get through. So in Super Monkey Ball, you're navigating races, uh, collecting bananas, trying to get through the courses. Uh, these first few courses are super quick, as you can see. This is a classic Sega game. And what I really love about it on the Citra emulator in VR is the fact that that 3D screen is pretty massive. Uh, it's covering most of the back wall of this library conference room right now. There's a giant TV over there that you can't see because it's covered. And the 3D really pops out on Quest. Whoops, I missed a banana. I'm going to go back for it. I missed another banana. You don't even really need the bananas I found. I played through the entirety of this uh, challenge game here, but I like to collect them all, especially on these first 10 levels because they're super easy when, once you get into the harder levels in the game. Now this is a bonus stage where you collect the bananas. It's kind of a spiral, which is kind of cool. Now, the person that created this uh, was Amanda Watson, who was one of the folks that worked on the Quest Link platform. It was called Oculus Link, of course, at the time, which allows you to connect via either USB or what they called AirLink wirelessly to a PC with your Quest devices. Uh, I do want to note, you do not need a PC to use this emulator. This is running fully in standalone on the Quest 3. And this is a project that's based off of an open source emulator. So the source code is going to be available. Uh, at the time that I'm recording this, it's just before this launches on GitHub and SideQuest. So uh, I don't know the exact address, but that will be in the description of the video. So this is a cool one. If you go over here, that's a collectible. Whoops, bounced ourselves out a little bit there. Oh, 
We just got a couple levels of this kind of easy one, and then we'll do a slightly more challenging one. We'll skip ahead so you can see that the levels are not this simple the whole way through. And then I'll show you the kind of not noticed, not credited Super Monkey Ball games that are part of Super Monkey Ball 3D. Because this challenge mode, this mode where you're doing the Super Monkey Ball through the courses is, you know, kind of the main game, but they were encouraging multiplayer. So I'll show you that there's actually two other full games within Super Monkey Ball 3D beyond these courses, which is really cool. This is one of the first titles I had on the 3DS platform because it was a launch title. So, you know, when a console launches, you pick up whatever is available at the time. Congratulations, we have completed that course. So we'll do challenge one more time and we'll pick a slightly harder course. Uh, you can also pick different characters, but I'm gonna stay with II because that's the one I actually really enjoy playing as. Let's go with the Dragon Journey. I really like this one. I like this pop-up book here. Because again, there's different layers to it and you can see those layers in 3D, at least in headset. Unfortunately, you're probably seeing just the giant 2D screen. So while I'm playing through this level, I will explain Citra is an emulator uh, that is legal and open sourced. However, playing ROM images like the one that I'm playing right here, uh, it's kind of a gray area. Uh, there are some publicly available ROM images and their instructions to back up your own games. Uh, this is one that I do own. This is a backup. But there's kind of a gray area otherwise. Uh, so at this point, I would recommend if you are going to play Citra, follow the directions or, you know, check out some of the public domain ROMs that are available. Uh, there's a lot of interesting homebrew for the 3DS. And a lot of that does work with the Citra emulator. There's also compatibility guides and things of that nature so that you can know what you're in for. Up front, there are lots and lots of games. This is not going to work with all of them. And like I said, you're gonna see sound glitches and maybe some artifacts as the, like a little bit of stutter as, as the games launch because it's doing shader caching, uh, which is something that almost all Nintendo titles do, but is really noticeable in emulators. So as you can see, I'm hitting out of bounds a lot more on this one because it is slightly more challenging than the first set of levels. There are overall around 70 levels in the challenge, I believe. So yeah, I've, I have to continue. And when you continue, it resets your score back to zero. So as you see, my score on the bottom screen is now zero. But this is just really, really cool in 3D on a screen in front of me as opposed to, I feel like the 3DS, while it has 3D, this is such a sharper 3D experience and it's, I guess, upscaled a little bit as well. I'm not sure of that uh, to give you the bigger, wider screen on the Quest. So I've missed some bananas now, and that's okay. So I really just want to play one. I think we'll actually wrap up after this level here. 
yeah, let's go ahead and end. So quit this game. You see the gist of challenge mode. Now let's go check out one of the other game modes, Monkey Race. Now everybody loves Super Mario Kart. And this is actually kind of a pared down version of that featuring the Super Monkey Ball characters. Uh, there's all different cars that you can use. We'll use the Banana SP here, and we will try Monkey Park. I really love how this just works with the motion controllers. You don't need anything extra outside of, of course, your own personal ROM images and the emulator itself. Now you do need to sideload this. This isn't something you can just get off of the main quest store. Uh, SideQuest is good for that. You can also use MetaQuest Developer Hub or ADB. It's a dance off going on here. Having no luck with power-ups, I keep going through the gates when there's no power-up available in them. I may be in eighth place right now, but it is only the first lap. That power-up did not help me. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get one this time. There we go, power-up. Now this is cool because now it's going to kind of self-guide itself and we will catch up pretty far in this path. Now I've got kind of a bumper shield around us in case anything comes to attack us. And now we're on the third lap, final lap of this race. Wow, we got frozen there. That's a power up I hadn't seen yet. Coming in fifth is not where I wanted to be, but that's okay. You get the general idea. It's a kart racer here with the Super Monkey Ball characters. And of course, very different tracks. Uh, very cool, I really like this one. And then the last game here, again, focusing on multiplayer, but you can play these as single player as well, is Monkey Fight. And this is like Super Smash Brothers. So just so many cool things that you can do. We'll play as the... Uh, little captain AI, I believe. And then we'll play against, let's go against Baby. Oh wow, we can pick four characters, right, of course. Uh, so we'll do Blue Harbor. Uh, we'll do, let's do 90 seconds, just to play through quickly. Let's do basic, because I'm not good at this type of game. Here we go. So again, fully 3D here. All right, the one with the crown there. Knocked me out of bounds that quickly. 
This is fun. Oh, I'm, I'm now barreling back over that. This is really cool. So they all go for the golden barrel to give themselves a power up. We see who got that power up that time. All right, let's try to stay away from this guy. All right, so we came in third. We'll end our monkey fight, and I think we'll end this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. This was a look, of course, at Super Monkey Ball 3D, classic Sega game, on the Nintendo 3DS emulator Citra VR. I will leave a link in the description to the Citra emulator. You will have to source your ROM files yourself. Again, there are instructions, things of that nature documentation on the main Citra website. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.